beating a lot of teams at the divisions, supposedly playing at a higher level than you guys. I mean, that's going to give you a lot of hard work. Well, that's it. But you know, again, it's all about when you go into a, a league match. It doesn't really matter who you play before that. I mean, you have to go into the stall out on that night, and you know, I mean, sometimes uh, you pitch how you play against better opposition sometimes and that's where we have to get that into the psychology of our lads is that we have to go out and perform every time we go out on the pitch and you know we don't want to we don't, we don't want to be dropping performance at levels irrespective of who up there your game plan this year is it is it something you can see evolving or tweaking from last year or well it will evolve because in saying that I wouldn't say that we are anywhere probably near uh, a settled team uh, never mind a settled squad you know I mean? we have a lot of good young fellas that haven't even played the other day and there's a lot of good under 21s coming on so the Cavern panel will evolve probably very much so in the next two to three years you know I mean? and a game plan is usually only finalised when you have the fully settled team and you know you have to design the thing around who is playing with you at the time yeah you have to have to, to put in a game plan having a guy like uh, Eugene Keating makes, makes things easy doesn't it well, it does, but in fairness, you know, Eugene at the first half, and again, that was part of the conversation at half time. In the first half, Monon had snuffed them out, that stuck back two sweepers on, and, you know, and as I said to the lad in the field, well, if the guy is sweeping in there, there has to be three men. At Indy County Football, you have to stand up and be counted at that stage. So when, when the lads started to pull off, you know, they had Monon had to pop out a little bit, and Eugene enjoyed it a little bit. But, you know, in the end of the day, it's all about the team. Even when he was double marked, three points kicked in the first half. I mean, is he a guy that you've seen uh, develop over the last couple of years? Ah, yeah, Eugene was always a very, very good footballer, you know, what I mean? and you know, again, as part of the group involvement, you know, it, it, it's probably about the lads who put the ball into him and do everything else, you know. I and mean, Eugene is a fine footballer, he's a fine finisher, but you know, what I mean, I don't really like talking to any one individual on the team. It's all about the team. Uh, how's Garage? He's must be he's getting close, is he? He's running up and down the pitch there behind you, so well, you know, I mean, he's in, 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 just, <laughs> <laughs> uh, in terms of playing, I suppose knees. Is I would say is probably the second half of the league, he probably will make us all appearance, yeah. Yeah. Can I just ask the McKinnon, the McKinnon Cup itself? I mean, is it's now obviously is it something that he said that was the very start to have a run in, or is it just bonus territory? Is it? It's not bonus territory for us. No, we want to try and win everything that we can play in. But that doesn't mean that we will win it. But we will try our level best. And the McKinnon Cup is the first competition of the year. And please God, next weekend we will come out with a good game against the road and come out and. Has the league changed a little bit, Terry, in terms of I suppose teams used to maybe sacrifice the league maybe 10, 15 years ago? A lot of managers come out now saying probably that they have to get into a certain division maybe one or two to be competing for championship honours is that the way I think it may it? have been the top teams might have said to sacrifice the league to a pop, pop, to an extent you will find that the people at the bottom never did that you know what I mean so mm. you know I mean it's all about a level and it's all people only look at the top four or five teams and say yeah they've been experimental this that and the other but they still normally end up winning leagues at the same time you know well, the personnel. I wouldn't think any manager it may be a bit of a cliche and a little bit of a saying to say that, that the league has not been the important but sometimes that's just the fact of 